Hi, some people have asked me if they can keep their tubers in the ground and in certain places in the United States you can. Um, here in California we can, um, but if your ground freezes, uh, dahlias will not survive. But I wanted to show you one that I've had in the ground for a good four years here. And, and as you can see, the tuber mass just gets larger and larger and larger. And what happens is it sends up many, 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 many sprouts because there's so many eyes in there that can potentially sprout. There's even one over here like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that would make a very crowded plant. Um, crowded plants typically um, don't produce as big of flowers. You've got powdery mildew happening with them. Um, so it's, it's a good idea, I think, um, to divide your tubers at least every couple years because it, once it's four years like this, and I'll try to divide this with a shovel in a minute and see if I can, but um, it gets really difficult to divide. You've also got a lot of rot happening. We've got rot here. Here's a tuber that's rotting and it's sitting on top of other tubers. This one got eaten by something, maybe a gopher. Um, there, here's more rot here. And so if you had a tuber like this and you're having trouble dividing it, you may just want to take um, one of these sprouts off of it. Like I, I can just pull it out like this. And here's, here's a perfect um, pole that I could put into like a root riot cube and get going so I could get that kind of off to a fresh start. Because when you have a big tuber ma mass like this, the, the nutrients have to go through all the tubers to get up here to feed this. And it's kind of difficult. Also, if you can see on the bottom here, um, we had gophers just hanging out in here and eating the tubers even, even really pretty recently. So, um, you know, that's a problem too, when you leave your tubers in the ground, it kind of attracts, uh, here in California, we have, we, have a, we have a lot of gophers. So I think it might be best. It, and also once everything gets crowded, it's very difficult for you to get really good blooms and then you're gonna be uh, struggling a bit with it. So if you like this one, you should just take some pulls. Um, you could cut this if you're having trouble like I am. There, I got it out. So these, these would make perfectly good good cuttings. Um, even smaller ones like this you could take, um, but uh, better to have it a little bigger or maybe in between these two. So I'm going to try to just hit it with uh, the shovel right now and see if I can get, get this to break apart. And you'll see it's a lot more difficult than a regular tuber that's only been in the ground one year. So I did pull this apart uh, a bit with the shovel, just doing that. I think that would have even have been hard with the um, with the the plunge cutter that you've probably seen me use. I mean, you may be able to pull off an individual tuber off of here and think and look for an eye and and plant that. But you can see uh, we've got rot here happening, which is not a good idea to plant that. Um, you've got gophers chewed all that. Um, I'm just trying to look for other things, you know, more rot here. It's not a good idea to put a rotted tuber into the ground because it just promotes rot going forward. So you can see how difficult that is. There aren't any really clean tubers with eyes. I mean, maybe at the very top here you could find something, but um, it's kind of difficult. These, this, is, this one's not even any good. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that because um, I don't usually leave my tubers in the ground, but I did leave this one just to show everybody how big they can get. So have a good day.